So we got a quick update on the 1200, guys. I didn't manage to get it back out to the mountains after the crash. Thus, we never got any footage on it. But I did take it to work on the flatlands and played with it after work a couple of times. What I have figured out um, is that the fuel pump was too small. So I got a bigger fuel pump. That's why I was getting so hot all the time. It was running out of fuel. So I got a bigger fuel pump. I found a cool little battery. This battery is really small. It's lithium. It puts out 14 amps. So I'm not using it for starting. I'm just using it to run the pump. Um, from Shore, I think it's Shore, they call it. Um, it wasn't cheap, but it was, I think it's working really well right now. I also went to a bigger charge box and a smaller charge tube. So the velocity coming out of this tube is twice as fast as the three inch tube. So this is two and a half. I took the three off, the two and a half works a lot better. I get a lot more throttle response. So I've built a bigger charge box. I was talking to Brent Linderman down there at Arctic Edge Motorsports. Showed him what I had. He said it was too small. So I built a bigger one. It seems to be working a little bit better. Throttle response is better. I think overall it's gonna be good. Uh, it works better. I changed the clutching from the last time on the video. I know some guys said it was bogging and kind of laggy. It was. Because I was running the team secondary on there with a, a helix that was too steep and the spring is too soft. So I went to, I went back to the old style SMT clutch. It is a torsion spring, not a, ow, not a compression spring. I'll show that to you. So before I forget, I just want to give a shout out to all our uh, Swedish viewers out there. We have a huge following in Sweden. Always wanted to go sledding over there. Someday we'll get over there, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to you guys. You're all crazy over there. We love you. Because I still have a bunch of old helixes that I've been trying. Um, I just ordered one from Supreme Tools. They sent it to me. They had one in stock. It was like, I think $100 Canadian by the time I got here. So parts for these are really cheap. And it works way better than the Team or the Paragon. I hate to say it, but for now, that is, until I figured out. So as you can see uh, from, you know, my last couple videos about chalk and clutches, look at, there's no chalk left on this sucker. If you wanna see how your clutches are performing, we chalk the clutch. So I've got a piece of chalk. This is called chalking the clutch. Inside to out, you'll be able to tell how high your clutches, your belt is running in your primary. So if you, let's say you got that much chalk left, you're not using all your clutch. So it is actually shifting out nice. Um, it's not going too far into overdrive. I was on flat ground again, so in the mountains it should work really good. Um, I'm still playing with the helixes, but I'm getting shallower and shallower because of the big weights. I gotta keep the RPM down. Some guys are gonna be yicking about that, I'm sure, but um, it's a whole different animal, this guy. Clutching on every sled's a little bit different. But I'm getting closer, and I adjusted the numbers in the boondocker box quite a bit as well. So I know you guys were all stressed that this thing wasn't working. It's getting closer. <laughs> so hey guys, we just heard from Shorai uh, about the batteries that I have in my, my uh, 1200. Uh, they're going to give all of our subscribers 20% off with the promo code DIGIT9. So go check out their website. Um, use that promo code, buy some stuff. It's good till December 31st, 2020. Look at squeak!